and it's Kate from the Forward Line. I am back this month with the Sew Down. This is our monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, listened to, read, all the good stuff to kind of keep you inspired while you sew. I've got a bit of a bumper month. I've got loads of really interesting articles, some cool TV podcasts, a couple of new designers, loads of stuff to talk to you about. So settle in. Everything that I talk about, I will pop links down below to you so you can go and read all the articles or watch the programs or whatever it is. Yes, so I'm feeling like there's a lot to get through, so I'm going to get cracking. The first thing I've got to talk to you about is the Sewing Weekenda, which is back next month. Um, it's on on the 21st and 22nd of May. This is a month, um, monthly, a weekend where we sit down carve out a bit of time for yourself and sew also together while listening to really amazing talks so i will pop a link and you can go and read all about it um it's in its seventh year i think this year um it's its third year online it's really amazing all the videos stay up forever so you can watch them whenever you like and um we also give a proportion to charity of all the ticket sales so it's a really good fun weekend and yeah we've got some amazing talks i will be releasing um the dates for the talks in a week or so so the dates for the talks the content for all of the talks in about a week so yeah keep your eyes peeled right next up designers on the site so um first we've got an it it's a sort of slightly new thing for us and we've never done it before and I wanted to ask your thoughts. So we've started stocking Kylie and the Machine labels which are beautiful sewing um, labels that you put into your handmade clothes. There are some really cute ones. Um, they also sell jeans kits and we've never sold anything that isn't sewing patterns before and I was wondering whether you guys would like extra things or whether that would be something that you'd be interested in buying because I know the jeans hardware is almost the reason that it puts people off doing it so yeah just would you would would that be useful to have I don't know I'd love to hear your thoughts so let us know um, a couple of new designers which you may not have come across before um, the first one is Ruth Maddox makes um, this is a kids wear des um, designer so she does lots of kids patterns really sweet I'll show you a selection of some of them um, she's got seven patterns really nice kind of staples which you'd want to make over and over again um, I think with children's wear if you're making it because it's quite speedy to make you want it so an item that you would make you know as they get bigger and hers are kind of really good core basics that you'd want to make over and over again so I'll pop a link to her so you can go and have a look at the patterns and they're, yeah, they're really good ones. Um, the next designer we've got is Patterns by Milena. Um, this actually is another company that is, does, she does women's wear and kids patterns. Um, she's got about eight patterns in total. Um, again, really nice, good basics, things that you want to have in your wardrobe, things you're going to reach for over and over again. And the nice thing about these is quite a lot of the patterns she does kind of the kids version of the same pattern so you, if you wanted to you could wear matching with your child um, but I quite like the idea that you'd learn how to make it in adult form and then you can make it in kid form because it would just speed the whole sewing process up so yeah those are our two new designers this month so go and have a look and check them out right stuff to read I've got quite a lot of stuff to read um, I'm going to preface this by saying, because lots of people write and say thank you for all of the things, This, all these things that I talk about, is they're not just things that I've read, they're stuff that Rachel's read, Louise, like the whole team all contributes to this, so it's a kind of, it's not just me, I don't want you to think that I'm like, it's all me, it's actually a team of us finding good stuff for you guys to listen to, or things that we found interesting that we thought you guys would like. So, first things first, in terms of articles, um, this is an article about apparently they're doing the sewing bee in Italy and um, so there's an interesting article about how they've done it and quite interesting definitely worth having a read who thought that it was going to kind of become something that would be shown in lots of different countries um, the next one I've got two articles they've got they've got a similar feel um, 
but I thought they were worth mentioning. The first one is in The Guardian and it's about sewing and making clothes and conspire, can inspire and heal or bind us to the past. So this article was really interesting about um, growing up at, um, sewing with her mother and like learning how to create things from scratch. Um, it's a really nice article, um, definitely worth having a read. The other one is from Harper's Bazaar and it's learning to sew at the end of the world and this was about someone learning to sew during the pandemic and I know loads of us really threw ourselves back into sewing during the pandemic so I thought this was a really nice um, article and there's lots of pictures of stuff that she's made which was really interesting. So yeah I really like having sewing kind of pop up, popping up in mainstream press. The next article is one that is um, Louise sent me and it's something that's really close to my heart. It's this, there is a shop that was really close to me um, in South London um, called Jeanette's which was a haberdashery shop and apparently it had been there forever and it closed down and the guy who, who was in it, I assume that he died which I've now read the article and he did and he'd had the shop open for 60 years I hadn't realized that it had been open that long and by the end it was slightly falling apart but it was kind of wonderful at the same time it was like the only thing you know within a high street where there's loads of chains this like Jeanette sort of stayed there and when he died um, someone put up all these pictures of him and the shop throughout the years in the window of the shop and it was really lovely because I walked past and I saw that it had been shut for a while and anyway the photos are really beautiful and it's a really nice story and it's really I was so sad when I realized that he died and that's what happened so yeah go and have a read of that it's such a lovely article um there's another great article about the um uh, the kind of the behind the scenes of the film Cruella and her costumes which were absolutely incredible so if you want to find out a bit more about the making of them and they show you some kind of behind the scenes and stuff in progress it's a really amazing article I am someone I just love I love costume stuff and couture things made it's just yeah it's a good read so go and have a check out of that so stuff that is happening in the real world now we are allowed out a little bit more i went to see this last week um the fashioning masculinities the art of menswear at the vna this is on an, at the moment until november it's really wonderful you should definitely go and see it it's really interestingly done the curation of it is fantastic they've mixed old menswear as in sort of 1800s menswear mixed with modern day menswear the whole history of it the stuff that's on show is really beautiful it's a mixture of um clothes and history and portraits and art and it's it's really cleverly done so if you are coming to london over the next few months i would book and see this because it was wonderful i loved it um, also, at the Fashion and Textile Museum, there's 150 years of needlework, the crown to catwalk. This is on until September. Um, this looks really fantastic. I haven't been to see it yet, but there's been a lot of talk about it because they are displaying, and I will also pop a link to this article to give you a bit more information about it, um, the Red Dress Project is going to be on the show which looks amazing and if you haven't come across this this is an artist called Kirsty McLeod and she created this dress which people have embroidered their kind of every it's kind of like a collaborative product project where people have embroidered their stories onto this dress so it looks amazing because it's all these different people's stories on this one dress it's beautiful I'll pop a link so you can read a bit more about it but that is that dress will be at the exhibition and needlework is always something that I love going and seeing in an exhibition so that is definitely worth going to have a look at so stuff to watch I feel like at the moment there's a lot of really good tv and as someone who 
has a small child I am not going out that much so TV has become my friend and um, I've got some really good stuff to talk to you about so first things first which I think we should all watch and apply to our sewing rooms um, the get organized the home edit on Netflix it's really fantastic if you haven't watched it it's the second series and they basically go into people's house and organize them it sounds like a really boring topic but I absolutely love it I'm addicted to it and I think we should all quite often they organize by color which would work really well with our fabric stashes so if you're inspired or need a kick up the bum to get your sewing room organized this is a nice way to start thinking about it you could plan plan it by watching this so I really loved that next up watching wise um, this is on Apple TV um, we crashed and it's about the story behind the company we work which is kind of a shared working space which had has grown enormously and the whole history behind it it's really fantastic i am halfway through it and loving it so if you haven't watched it it's a nice watch um kind of easy watching it's a good one Next up, which I'm sure many of you have watched or are in the process of watching, Killing Eve is back on BBC iPlayer. This is the, I think it's the final series, this one. I think it's, yes, I think it is the final series. I'm again halfway through this. It's brilliant, um, hilarious. It's just wonderful outfits. It's just perfect. So if you haven't started watching this series, it's definitely worth watching. As usual, it's sort of a really kind of dark comedy, slightly gory. It's just, and it's kind of even more ridiculous, this series. So it's brilliant. So definitely worth watching. Um, next and final in terms of things watching, it's on Netflix again, Pieces of Her. If you haven't watched this, it's wonderful. Um, I, Rachel told me to watch it and I just got completely sucked into it. Ever so slightly gory for the first episode, but the rest is not. It's a thriller. It's really good. Not too scary. Um, definitely worth watching. So, yeah, that's really fantastic. Podcasts. I've got four things to for you guys to listen to. The Love to Sew podcast, which I'm sure many of you love i just really enjoyed the episode on pockets if you haven't listened to this one it is definitely worth having a listen it sounds like it's not going to be a very interesting episode but it is really good and louise sent it to me and i'd listened to it already and i agree it was just all the different pocket styles what you can do it's a great one and the history of them as well so it was a really nice episode um, on the sewing podcast front, Check Your Thread, which is another fantastic sewing podcast. Um, this episode is about encouraging your kids to sew and teaching them the life skills. Um, I thought it was a really nice episode um, and it's interesting, you know, I hadn't really thought about it, but loads of schools are now not teaching sewing at all. And I suppose it's almost up to us as sewers to teach the next generation to sew if it's not going to be taught in schools. so it, yeah it was a really nice episode and definitely worth having a listen to um a new podcast which i have been listening to and rachel actually sent it to me but i listened to it as well it's from tortoise who um are doing it's called the slow newscast and it's really fantastic they do a deep dive into a kind of the one of the big topics of news that week um the the episodes are 40 minute long they're really interesting they're fantastically well done so i would highly recommend this if you're looking for something i find sometimes i don't quite know what's happening so i like this and, and having a deep dive into an episode is really great um last but not least um it's a podcast by fennec i haven't listened to this but rachel was listening to it and said it was really good it's called the woman who um, and it's celebrating 140 years of Fennec and they are doing a 10 part podcast series where they talk about um, each episode is about a different woman in, and kind of women empowering life and economy. And it sounds like it should be really interesting. So they have got 10, yeah, 10 episodes and they have released one to three of them. So there's like, Daphne Aram, who, the woman who made Electric, um, Michelle Coel, the woman who knows her worth, 
Um, she's a, she was a screenwriter, actor and producer. Um, yeah, it, it's just, I think it should be, it'd be really, really fantastic. So have, have a listen. Um, and yeah, I thought that would be great. Right, that is it from me. Um, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely long Easter weekend and you've got some good stuff now to go and listen and read and watch. So yes, we'll be back soon with another video. Bye!